Hello everyone, this is Isabel, it's ITW 2022, and I'm joined by Steve Parrott, is Head of Strategy at Tomia. Steve, welcome to my hotshot, finally. Oh, thank you so much, uh, Isabel. It's been a real pleasure to be here today with you. Thank you again. That's what you think. We haven't done the interview yet. Oh, well, <laughs> go easy on me then, right? Please, right? Hopefully, you'll ask the, right, the great questions and it'll be a, it'll be a great interview. I'm sure. So, Steve, a lot of the mobile operators are really focusing on growing their lucrative enterprise business. And mm -hmm. we've seen that almost in every region. So how can they better compete with aggregators to grow their piece of the pie of the messaging in the enterprise page? Well, the A2P market is really undergoing a remarkable uh, set of changes. And in particular, it's growing at, a remark at an incredible rate. And so really it's a chance for MNOs to claim a space that they've really not been able to participate in for a number of years. They've often used aggregators as the third parties to reach their customers or to send uh, messages to their subscribers. And this is, a, this is an opportunity for them to step in and take a piece of the pie that has been out there and really uh, unrealized for a long time. Uh, we look at it as a, there, the best part is that there's a lot of different ways for aggregators, I'm sorry, there's a lot of different ways for MNOs to participate there. And in particular, that they can t claim that relationship with their customers that has to date been separated by the aggregators in order to pull traffic back to them and create the right kind of experience that their enterprise customers are asking for. But why is it so important for them to start, you know, for the mobile operators watching us today, why is it so important for them to, to start thinking, okay, I need to address that opportunity directly, the, the enterprise messaging. Why is an aggregator not, you know, the best solution? Mm -hmm. Well, it's a, great, it's a great question. And let me be the first to say that I think aggregators provide a, a very good service for very specific parts of the ecosystem and have been critical in the historically around P2P messaging and frankly, the creation of some of this enab uh, enablement across the, the networks. The challenge has been that with the rise of A2P and enterprise customers in particular, right, what's happened is the aggregator has found itself in between the m and and the enterprise. Now they are the face of the m and to that enterprise, whether it's the bank or the or the hyperscaled uh, software companies or the or the airlines or others that are providing critical services, the MNOs have positioned themselves as those the ones to try to sell those capabilities. And what's happened is the aggregator, by setting themselves in between, have really become the one that uh, drives that relationship. And that's something that an MNO really cannot afford to do. Right. If you if you lose that ability and that relationship with your customer, then traffic and all those relationships that cascade from that are really served by somebody else instead of you as the supplier of the network itself. Okay. So you're head of strategy at Tamiya. Mm -hmm. huh? What is Tamiya's strategy in making this happen? Well, so first and foremost, what we're trying to do is share with the uh, the MNO community that you don't need to do it the way you've done it in the past. And that meant you don't need to outsource it. You don't need to rely fully on third parties. There are software and solutions, and to me is one of those suppliers who can go out there and help enable you as an MNO to go and execute your own strategies, generate your own business case, your own ROI, and your own way of executing. Now there's a balance to be struck. Sometimes it's very complex. Sometimes it's you want a great deal of control. Each operator, each MNO is different, and we've seen them do that, uh, do it in different ways around the world. But ultimately, the key here is that this is a solution that can be executed today, uh, out and in a different way than what has been done in the past, and ultimately bring the right types of business and business capabilities that MNOs really want with their enterprise customers, and ultimately for the subscribers that are on their network where those messages are being delivered. Creating win-win-win scenarios. It's a win-win-win for everybody, including the subscribers who are looking for that right experience. Cool. Steve, thank you so much. It's been uh, a long time coming. We've been it talking about good. this interview for a long time, so I'm happy I finally got you on my hot seat. I am. Uh, thanks for going easy on me, Isabel. I appreciate it. It's a pleasure to be here again and looking forward to the next opportunity. Thank you, Steve. Everyone, thank you for watching and until my next hot shot. <laughs>